In this video, we will look at how to use SharePoint Designer to customize a data view web part to create and edit SharePoint list items. This allows us to customize the look and feel of the item edit forms for SharePoint list items. We will put our forms on the default.aspx page, so we will double click on it in the website display to open it for editing. Now, we want to add the data view web part to a web part zone. So we'll just select the left web part zone and choose the data view insert data view option. This will automatically open the data source library task pane and display all of the SharePoint lists that exist on the site. We'll click on the task drop down and select the Show Data option. For our new item form, we are going to select Title, Assign To, and Due Date. Then we will click on the Insert Selected Fields As and select the New Item Form option. As you can see, the title field is automatically shown as a required field. The assigned to field is already displayed as a user selection field, and the due date field is already selected as a date time field. These list fields are automatically received from SharePoint, but they can be overridden. Since we have the due date field selected, we can open up the Common Form Field Tasks menu, and we can change the Format As option to Date Picker. Now this will allow us to select a time as well as a date in our new item form. Now we can change the layout of the form. In our case, we would like to have Due Date above the Assigned To. So we can open the Common Form Tasks, and select the Edit Columns option, highlight Due Date, click on the Move Up button, and it will change the position of Due Date in the form. We click OK to apply our settings, and we can see that the Due Date has moved above the Assigned To. So far, we have seen how to create a new item. It is also possible to use SharePoint Designer to create an edit form for pre-existing items. We'll add a new data form web part to the left web part zone. We'll use the task list again and show data. This time, we'll only select the title and due date fields. In the Insert Selected Fields As menu, we'll select Multiple Item Form. Next, we'll want to change this view to sort on due date and group items based on who they're assigned to. To do that, we'll click on the Sort and Group link in the Common Data View Tasks menu. Sort and Group dialog will pop up, and we'll select Assign To, and due date, and click on the Add buttons to add those. Now we'll highlight Assign To again, and click on the Show Group header, and leave the Expand Group by default selected. Click OK to apply our changes. Go ahead and collapse the Common Data View Tasks menu. And you can see that the changes have been applied. Now we can save our changes and see what they look like in Internet Explorer. We'll go to the website. We'll refresh the front page that we've been working on. And as you can see, here's our new item form, which we can fill out. We'll give it a due date of April 1st, 2008. Set it to 5 p.m. 
And we'll go ahead and assign this to Jesse. We'll click on the Check Names button and hit Save. Now we're going to go ahead and do a fresh load of the page because the refresh from the new item form will not automatically display it here. But as you can see, the new task has showed up in our multiple item form.